Hi hey guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. See, hi right. my titi. Mm. So today we are going to be reading your guys' assumptions you have about us. I put up a poll on Instagram and you really came through and yeah. sent us a lot of assumptions that you have and we thought it was really interesting. So We figured we'd do a reintroduction for all the new people who have recently joined our channel. Um, my name is Damar and this is my wife Maria. This is our newest addition to the family, Tatum <laughs> Bell. She's so squirmy right now. And then we are missing our oldest right now. She is at my mom's house actually, um, enjoying yeah. some time with grandma, but her name is Skylar Rain. Yes. And we are the Hightower family. Yes. So welcome to our channel. Yes. All right. So the first assumption we got from you guys is you guys don't fight a lot. <laughs> we got that one the most. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. We got like a couple repeating ones. So we honestly don't fight a lot. Yeah. We were talking about it and we we're like, well, when I was pregnant with this one, I, I feel like we were just not as nice to each other as we typically are. So I feel like we did argue a lot about like the smaller things. So since I'm not pregnant anymore, I feel like this assumption is true where we don't really argue as much, mm -hmm. so. Okay, another assumption is that we use gentle parenting. I would say that's true. Yeah, I would think, To a certain yeah. extent. I don't think we're in any way like free range parents. Or like really crazy, like authoritative, like I don't know. Yeah. We don't well, and so far, our like our, our oldest is only a year and four months. So we haven't really had like a whole lot yeah, of like, like experience i guess as far as with like older kids and so we don't really know how we'll be later yeah on. but like i think we're gonna always try to operate from a place of grace yeah. and like of course we want our kids to know that there's consequences for their actions so mm -hmm. we're not gonna just be like completely hands off but i do think there's value in letting your kids make mistakes and learning and being able to be there for them when they make those mistakes so another assumption is you guys grew up with relatively the same childhood. That's actually not even close yeah, to right. No, at all. We grew up completely different. Mm -hmm. Even like teenage, like early adolescence was completely different. Yeah, Maria grew up in Ohio, Sugar Creek, Ohio. Yeah, so very, conservative, very conservative. Conservative, yeah. As like an early child. And then Maria moved here um, when she was, what, four or something like six? I think for the second time I was almost four. So yeah, so with that, she had tons of brothers and sisters. She was always playing outside. She had cousins <laughs> yeah. and she kind of just lived more of a carefree life, I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah, I would say so. I had like a super fun childhood. Like I just looking back, like I remember being super just dirty all the time. Like I was outside and like, loved building forts and like i was kind of a weird girl <laughs> like i love to you know get out and get dirty with my my boy cousins miles and vaughn shout out to you <laughs> but yeah i don't know my childhood was super fun like very carefree yeah and mine was too but i was very on the opposite end of the spectrum as far as i had like some cousins that i considered like my brothers and sisters but I never was outside, and I'm still that way for the most part. And I don't love being dirty at yeah. all. No, he doesn't. Hate it. And our oldest daughter is just like him. Like, she loves to be outside, but anything on her hands, like, just any dirt makes her so uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not, it's not my cup of tea. So, I mean, and I played a lot of video games and wasn't outside as much. Yeah. That was, like, my thing was video games. So, we were very different. And I went to public school. She was homeschooled. Yeah. So, so that good. in itself made things very different as yep. far as like our interaction with people and everything like that. Another one is, you both wanted to get married and have kids at an early age. I would say for me, yes. Um, only because of the family that I was raised in, it's just very common and normal for like the people that I grew up with to get married young and to have children young. That was always something that I grew up like wanting is to have a, a family and to be a mom and that was actually another assumption that my life passion was to be a mom. And I would say definitely. I, I've always dreamed of having my own babies and homemaking and all of it. Like as a whole, I just always dreamed of that. Me, on the other hand, I wouldn't necessarily say I wanted to get married and have kids young. But I did want to get married and have kids when it was right. Another one is, you'll encourage the girls not to have sex until marriage. I would say yes, absolutely. That's something that... Um, I was raised in and was very thankful to be raised that way. Damar and I saved ourselves from marriage and I love that. 
I thought it was absolutely beautiful and I wouldn't want it any other way. And to have my girls experience it in that same way is just for sure my heart for them. I think more importantly, we're not gonna raise them on just like, don't have sex before marriage and just leave it at that. I want them to know the depth, the depth yeah, and the importance of what sex actually is. Because I feel like it's such a taboo subject in so many families and so many households and it is a natural like desire, mm -hmm. but I think there is a proper time and season for it. Yeah. And another assumption is you eat healthy. <laughs> I mean, I would if, say we both really, we really like healthy foods. I don't even like healthy food. Yes, you do. Like I like vegetables and stuff, but I'm not gonna sit there and eat like this. Yeah, it's hundred percent whole grain, like like nut bar well, I don't with think we raisins eat and stuff of us. like so that. So maybe to a certain extent, we like to eat healthier. Yeah. But whether or not we do all the time oh. is that's not true. Maria loves it. burgers and she loves sweet potato fries. Oh, that has been my thing. <laughs> I probably had that like what. Eight times since yeah, I had Tatum. She's probably had it at least like once a yeah, week. Yeah, once Tatum, a week. Tatum is six weeks, and I probably had it each week. One, once, a, once a week. Yeah. <laughs> and she's been born. So, no, we don't always eat healthy. We try to eat good, though. Yeah. Another one is you prioritize your marriage. Absolutely. Um, that has to be one of the top priorities is to prioritize each other, prioritize just dating, making quality time for one another. Because even though. I like, guess Maria does stay home with the kids all day and I do work and my work schedule is flexible. It's still easy to miss each other if you're not being intentional with the time that you have. For sure. Like if you're on your phone or if you're watching TV or just little things like that that you don't really, they kind of numb you. It's really easy to just kind of let the days go by. Um, and then all of a sudden you wake up and you're like, geez, I feel like I haven't talked to you mm -hmm. or like I missed you. Like you miss someone, but you've been with them. So yeah, prioritizing yeah. our marriage is something that we still haven't perfected by any means, no. but it is something that is important. Yeah, and something that we've been talking about more because having young kids that are just so like reliant on you and like they need us. And so it can be really easy to just, like he said, miss each other and to pour so much into our kids that we forget mm -hmm. that like we're the ones. That we need to pour into ourselves too. Yeah. And like we have to have our cup full to be able to pour into the kids and yeah. like, that's something that we're always working on and striving for. Yeah, definitely. Damar is scared of having more than two kids. <laughs> at times, yes. At times. Well, we both <sighs> are at times because having these two so close is just like oh. very daunting at times. It's like a zoo in here sometimes. Oh. Literally, like the house looks like a zoo pin. Sky is like swinging from the rafters. <laughs> Tatum's like yeah. nuking it. I'm crying. Maria's trying to hold everything together. Like, it's, it's a zoo in here sometimes. And that's what, those are the moments when I'm just like, I'm good with two. Yeah, when it's good, it is so good. But when it's bad, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah. And we are just so content with the two girls right now. And we're just trying to, like, get in the swing of things, having a new baby so recently that having our minds go to having a third one right now oh, is just like gosh, too daunting yeah complete chaos but Even in, the, in, the, in the big picture though i would love to have more yes like i'm not scared to have more but right now it's not the right time okay another one is you wouldn't mind having all girls in the future i wouldn't mind we were just talking about it I, of course i would love to have a boy love it and that was a lot of other assumptions too that we want to have a boy next yeah, like in a perfect world, I would love to have a boy next and then maybe another boy and then have two of each. But I mean, if it comes down to it and I have all girls, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I'll be the best girl dad I can be. Yeah, I would say that that wasn't girl. always how we felt. Like before we even got pregnant with Skye, we both thought we wanted to have a boy first at least. And when I found out I was having a girl, I was like thrown for a loop because to have a girl first was never what I thought I wanted. Um, well, it's probably because she has, her oldest sibling is a boy, and I'm the oldest in my, out of my siblings, well, my mm -hmm. sister. So it's like we both were like, oh, well, boys kind of just start it, but... After we had Sky, then, we were both like, okay, we really want another girl after we found out we were pregnant again so soon. Mm -hmm. We were like, we really feel like they're going to share like a special bond if it's another girl. And sure enough, it was, and we're so happy, mm -hmm. and we wouldn't want it any other way, so... Yeah, we're very happy it turned out that yeah. way. Right now we're content. So another assumption is Maria wears the trousers <laughs> with the little pants emoji. No. 
<laughs> I wouldn't say so. I think we equally make decisions on big things. Yeah, I would say Damar wouldn't let me <laughs> like wear the pants, and I say that in like the like a kind way. Like I don't think he ever like lords his opinions over me at all. I think that I'm learning to just like respect his opinion on things, and that is something that I'm working on. But like, uh, and I think it's my personality type. Yes. I, I, my personality type, I'm, I'm definitely not as submissive as like some other guys are. I'm more of a challenger. I'm also trying to get better at just like listening to what Maria says and then coming together in the middle and finding a good balance because yeah. it's easy for me to just be like, oh, well, I don't know why you're thinking that way. I'm right. You're not. <laughs> like, so there's a healthy balance in there and Maria is definitely helping me reach that. So. Ooh, here's a good one. Okay. I assume you guys were in a party stage before pregnancy. Oh, yeah. If partying is us staying up till like 9.30, eating cookies. We'd stay up later. We'd stay up till like 10.30 and watch Grey's Anatomy <laughs> and drink wine. Yeah. That's pretty, that was, that was pretty, that's that was pretty, pretty party nice. stage to me, That was I'd pretty say. nice. Um, <laughs> Maria never had a party stage. Mm-mm. Yeah, I would say because of my upbringing. Like, as far as the friends that I had and all of that, like, we just were not, like, into that type of stuff. Like, yeah, I I didn't even know, like, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I don't know if I should Yeah, Maria didn't even know that people partied if it wasn't a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you partying about? Like, yeah, I was like, yeah, there was a party here and I did this. She was like, well, what were you partying for? Whose birthday was it? I was like, <laughs> nobody's, <laughs> what? It's actually kind of embarrassing. Yeah, no, it's cute I, though. I didn't know about that. That's like a whole nother world. It was a whole nother world to me. Me neither. I used to like go to the library with my friends and we'd like <laughs> read chapter books. Like <laughs> who could see who would read the biggest chunk of the book the fastest. He's and then, so full uh, of it. We would sit there and then we'd play a good game of chess. Okay, okay, okay. And then <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maria was interested in Damar first. We have to talk about this one because... I didn't know. I was like, I don't think so. Yeah, I feel like it was pretty, pretty similar timing as far as like both of us. Like when we started talking, it was because we both were interested in each other. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like one was more than the other. Yeah, we were both in relationships honestly when we first met each other. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, she was 16 and I was 20. Yeah. So we never saw each other in that light. And then the stars just aligned. She was single. I was single. And yeah, it just happened. Just it kinda was crazy. happened, yeah. Because we worked together for three years before we even like Thought saw anything. each other in like a romantic light at all. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty crazy. Well guys, we really hope you're enjoying your Sunday. We mm -hmm. appreciate you watching our videos more than you know. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Follow us on our social medias, it'll be linked down below. If you guys want to be a part of any videos like this in the future, then that's how you can be is if you follow us on our Instagrams. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do polls on there and stuff like that. Until next time. Hi, Tower family. family out. Out.